It was the final bit there. How do you pay that a mark? He did say be respectful, Tim, and Jad Laverde has been penalised with a 50 metre. Archie Perkins, Carl Langford cleverly gained possession. Not a bad looking attempt as it got it online. Quick reply for the Bombers. Carl Langford's got the goal. Phillips, it got past him. Langford has got it. That's brilliant running. Called to go. Attacks the top of the square. Jones off hands. Langford. Bombers back in front. So Langford from point blank range. Bombers back in front. To be the guy today, this, this will be his fourth if he finishes here. Four goals against the Lions last year for an equal career best. Carl Langford's got four goals and the Bombers are back in front. Previous best was four goals in round 17 versus the Brisbane Lions. His highlight from last year, Kyle Langford has got a bag of five. And that is huge for the Bombers. High degree of skill. And in that clean possession, nice pick up as well from Martin to Perkins. Bradley Hill gives chase, Stringer out the back. He's going to get a launch, Jake. And it bounced straight off his head. Over the back, Kyle Langford's going to get the goal. Back-to-back -back goal to the Bombers. The attributes and the versatility that he does provide, and that's all understandable. Right now, Essendon need him to step up and kick a goal from 40 metres out. It wasn't absolutely perfect, but it is a goal. Now it's about the conversion. For three in a row for Essendon, he knows it's through. Langford knew immediately, struck it perfectly, and he strides back. Well, that was a genuine jump for the ball, though, Didn't wasn't it? Didn't have one leg on the ground. Durham yeah. scooped it up. Langford had a big part in this game. He beat May, and now he watches with all of us as it slides through. Bomber fans are wrapped around the country. Kyle Langford, that's what's ahead of him. He's their leading goal kicker to this point, and that's probably why. Beautiful. Langford around the corner for his second. It is there. Directly in front, no win to speak of here. No problems at all, Langford's got his third. Last week was the first time in five games he hadn't kicked a goal, Kyle Langford. He's been good up forward, hasn't he? Yeah, season. back and forward, kicked three goals on Anzac Day, and five earlier in the season, and he's got that one working back beautifully for the opener for the Bombers. Take the number one forward, but they're, they're directing the ball elsewhere. Langford, one of six individual goal kickers in the opening term for Break. the Bombers. Great. And he's waiting, he's waiting. We think we'll get confirmation. Bomber fans, that's a goal. The body language on the poor defender was pretty, <laughs> pretty ordinary. Yeah, Bomber fans, Dermot Burton doesn't often goal. bring you good news over the years, but... I reckon you I reckon you do. Sent his way by Durham. Did well to scramble and kick forward. And Anthony McDonald, Tipper Wood is there. Tries to turn McKenna inside out. Beautifully done from Tipper. Here come the Bombers again. Langford, good use of the body. Gets hold of the Sharon. Snaps around the corner. And the Bombers have got back to back goals and they're in front. Takes a bit of ground. This is a better option. Chance for Martin, who's pushed out to the wing, and he's a known goal kicker. Nick Martin, he plays on. They're going to get one over the top. Certain goal coming up. Langford rolls in and kicks his second goal. That's massive for Essendon. Now, now Merritt's probably their best kick, isn't he? So yep. he goes the ball inside 50, and he hits an uncontested mark. Now it's up to this man on your screen to finish things off. Pretty much splitting the middle. Again, the game has no leader. This starts to uh, flow on here. Might see a bit of a move early. <laughs> so 
17 goals for the season for Langford, and he gets the Bombers off to the hot start. <laughs> so I'm not sure he's getting a read on what he's doing wrong. The Bombers chain again out of their defensive 50 to kick towards Guelph. He slaps it on, was clever, into the path of Draper. The big man loves to kick a goal on the run. He'll feed it instead through to Langford, and the Bombers go end to end. Going to wheel around. He's a long kick of the footy and he just thumps into it, sends it long and strong. As you can see 97 for his career. It should be straightforward. And it is. Essendon get the opener. Kyle Langford. Back one metre, Very productive please. on the scoreboard this year. And kicks the Bombers sixth. There are 20 goals coming into the game. A couple today. So North Melbourne kicks six goals in a row. Took a handy lead. And now Essendon have kicked four in a row in response. Possession 34. High kick. Bloke, well, he tried to kill it and he left it alive. Wealthy. Feeds it on the top. Martin. Was that high? Yeah. Yes. Langford plays on. That's advantage. He's taken it. He's gone. And they're in front. 45 out. Slight angle. And he steers it through. Kyle Langford back in round two. It's the Gold Coast Suns. Very gettable. He loved it off the boot, and Kyle Langford strikes first for the Bombers. Giving themselves multiple opportunities to score. Chance for the Bombers to hit the lead, and Kyle Langford delivers. Essendon in front. Having a career best here in front of the big sticks. Langford for his second tonight. Dons by seven. He got it! He got it! And Essendon is well and truly alive. Not even a shuffle from the umpire. Phillips is going to have to stand and wait. They'll come from both sides. Well done, O'Brien. Well done, Guelphie. Now Parrish on the burst. Will go himself. Langford will track it back. Will it bounce through? Langford gets it. His second. Waits for the run. Redmond provides it. And then the long kick to the top of the square. Wiedemann right out the back. Langford, he'll clean it up. Does. The leg gets taken out of the balloon. Type of game, and Geelong have just been able to nullify any of that tonight. Bombers leading goal kicker this year, Kyle Langford, 32 13 coming into tonight. And he steers that one home. Kyle Langford gets his first. Six games in the VFL for Cox so far before getting this opportunity. Here's Langford, he's been a master stroke up forward this year, and that is as straight as you get him. So the Bombers off to a flying start. On the set shot. Just getting it through. First of the turn, Bombers. Shares it back with McGrath and Corwell spears it looking for Dave. It was a timely spoil from Cunningham, but they're out here. Nick Martin, Darcy Parrish, the kick to the lead, and well done, Langford. He's their leading goal scorer for the year, and he kicks the first on a Sunday night. Cole Langford, well done. Look at the movement of Kyle Langford. He's got natural forward craft. 35-15 heading into tonight. Kick the first goal. Saturday night footy. What about that? Beautiful. He's going to be a very good player in the competition. On. 35-15 coming into tonight. That's his third. We're back to square. Oh. Rampy. 
He's a really strong player. Well, let's open the corridor up here. Caldwell picks it up. Peter Wright's got some space. Out the back. If Lankford can get a shift, he's going to run in. They're going to get back-to-back -back goals. The bowlers. Kyle Lankford gets his fourth. Drew him to where the ball could go so that he could avoid the Swans defender. Really clever kick from Parrish. Kyle Lankford can he equal his career best five goals. He sure can. Just a nice, simple technique. He's kicked multiple goals, four of his last five weeks. Tenth in the Coleman medal race. You just see how straight he keeps it. Straight as an arrow. But the umpires are hot on it in 2023 in particular. Only has to be a fraction late. Langford for two in a row. The Bombers get out to an 11-point lead. Well, he's been their number one forward this year. And he stepped up in this quarter when they've needed him. That's three for the turn for Langford. Still needs an efficient way to attack goal. He came into the game, taking the fifth most marks inside 50 in the competition. He's taken three today. And he's taken a flame fly to Marvel. He's got four for the quarter. <laughs> Over the top to the man with the hot hand. Lakeford puts the Bombers back in front. Well, they got the clearance, defensive side of the square. That was the key. And you can put that down to Parrish. He just muscled Tim Kelly off the ball. Rolling on his Darwin. He's got Brian all the way out the back. He's a tall, gangling operator, and he marks. Goes by hand to Langford. They get there in the end. Langford kicks his first. Got a feel for Ben McCoy in defence. Can he open up another little bag this afternoon? For goal number two, Langford. On drifts. Archie wants something coming towards him. Langford's normally good on the lead. Drops it long to Peter Wright. Important hand in from Mackay. Zebul needs to get rid of it. Does get rid of it. Langford, he was in the area. Langford has a third. And that really hurts the Kangaroos. Start of the season. As a forward, a defender, one of the most versatile bombers, but we know where he belongs now. Yeah, so he's just beyond him on half time with the distance, but he does get an opportunity for his 50th goal. He's been a shining light for the bombers all season, and he deserves his half century. Well played, Kyle Langford.